okay uh, hello everybody now we are moving to concept 2 of uh, multiply factor based and compare between two numbers so what we are going to look at here is uh, first of all i recommend you guys to go back and watch the first two videos they are pretty detailed and they are pretty intensive in terms of uh, giving you intensive as well as extensive like in terms of depth it has a lot of depth in terms of uh, width it has a lot of width it has a lot of bandwidth to cover and uh, you'll be able to understand these concepts better if you've seen those first two videos coming down to the uh, concept two that if x percent uh, if x percent of a uh, is equal to y percent of b then a and b can be written as y and x y by x okay i'll just try to break it down for you when i talk about x percent of a i can also write it as to just to remove the percentage sign x upon 100 and removing the off sign by multiplication of a and is equal to y percent of b as y divided by 100 multiplied by b okay so the 100 gets cancelled by 100 and uh, a is equal to y divided by b is equal to x the values which are here are not uh, uh, what should I say? The values which are present, they are not the absolute values of A and B. They are the ratio values of A and B or the rational values of A and B. Uh, I'll just try to explain it to you. Like 20% of A is equal to 30% of B. Now, if somebody asks me what is the exact value of A, what is the exact value of a or the absolute value of a i will never be able to find it out why the reason being this is one equation and two variables this is one single equation having two variables so we will never be able to solve it in absolute terms secondly if they still would like me to determine a relationship between a and b what i would do is i would quickly remove the percentage sign and give them this that a is equal to 3 upon 2 and upon b okay so a relative value between a upon b is equal to or a in terms of b is a is 3 by 2 times of b or a is one and a half times of b okay so you understand what uh, if if we get a chance to study um, time and work together there's a very beautiful uh, like a kind of question which comes up that if 20 men uh, or 20 men finish off a work in uh, let's say 10 days then 30 women will finish off the same work in five days then tell how many men and how many women get together and complete the work in this sort of a story i am simply gonna bring it down to the lowest possible value five ones are five fours are and then i'm gonna write four men is equal to three women and then instead of taking one step forward in terms of saying men divided by women is equal to three upon four what i would actually do here is just look at this i would simply assume that what is not the coefficient of m what is not the coefficient of m is the value of m and what is not the coefficient of w is the value of w so here 3 is not the coefficient of m that is why the value of 3 is equal to m and and 4 is not the coefficient of w that is why 4 is not the coefficient of w that is why 4 is the value of w this is how you skip a step and reach one step forward okay skip a step and still move forward so every time you see this percentage sign or something simply assume that one is equal to y and x is equal to b and b is equal to x okay the second statement here says that if a is x percent more or less than b then the value of a is to b would be this if the value also this being the standard chapter for percentages we would assume the easiest quantity to be our friend and the easiest quantity to be our friend would be 100 so we are assuming that b is equal to 100 and any operation which a is applying on itself to become bigger or smaller any operation i'll repeat any operation which is a which a alphabet a variable a is applying on itself 
would be in terms of b which in turn would be in terms of 100 so x percent y percent whatever it would be added or subtracted from 100 in order to create a difference in order to create a gap between a and b so this is the real game that you have to understand this is not a tough thing it might be a little different difficult to understand because this is not in the question format people are more more used to seeing the question format and simply solving it but you must know what theory goes behind what theory goes behind each and every question so this is how we move ahead i'm taking you to the question directly there are two questions of uh, concept two and we would be like doing them off very quickly if 80 percent of a is 13 more than 90 percent of b and the ratio of 40 percent of a to 60 percent of b is 10 is to 9 then what is the value of a minus b okay first of all let me take you to the most basic concept here how many equations do we have i'll tell you and you also know we have two equations of a and b two variables a and b and two equations the first equation being 80 percent of a is 13 more than 90 percent of b and the second equation being 40 percent of a to 60 percent of b is 10 is to 9 so it's asking us a very absolute number of what is a minus b so we have to remove all the variables and give the absolute answer so what i'll do is i will be solving both the questions uh, both the equations and giving you the answer of what is a and what is b and then we can proceed to finding out the absolute value of a minus b so just look at me of how i go i'll be putting different name tags to to every equation okay i'll be putting different name tags to every equation so, so the first equation is called equation one and the second equation is called equation two and this is how i'll be telling you which equation to solve first so that you get to the solution faster okay it says 80 percent of a 80 percent of a is equal to 13 more than 90 percent of b okay i am not using the off sign over here because off would ultimately change even into multiplication and even not writing the multiplication sign just the things being straightforward without any multiplication sign is also assumed that they are being multiplied okay so this is the first equation and the second equation uh, for us would be 40 percent of a two two means upon or the value of a colon the value of a colon is a ratio so 40 percent of a to 60 percent of b is equal to 10 by 9 okay so my question to you is which equation would you solve first in order to reach the solution faster i'll tell you what here if we start solving equation one first we would be we won't be reaching a very solid solution because the percentage sign once the percentage sign needs to be removed it would be taking me to upon 100 and the thing which is in the denominator upon 100 for a and upon 100 for b this would create a problem and inflate the value of 13 to 1300 so i do not wish to get into those calculations first i would rather create a very strong bond between a and b by determining the relationship between a and b do you understand it is better to determine the relationship between a and b first and then plugging the values into the first equation and getting your solution out okay i'll just show it to you how i do 40 percent of a i am i am writing it as 40 into a the percentage sign can get cancelled okay how i am cancelling out the percentage sign the percentage sign would produce uh, an upon 100 over here and this percentage sign would produce an upon 100 over here and it would automatically get cancelled out so why do i not directly cancel out the percentage sign right so 40 upon a 60 upon b is equal to 10 upon 9 cancelling out the 0 cancelling out the 2 and 3 cancelling out the 3 cancelling out the 2 again i get the value i get the relationship between a by b is to 5 by 3 to plug in the same value in this equation we would not be able to reach a concrete solution because if i write a is equal to 5 directly here i would not be able to solve it why because i still need one variable to find out the value of a and b here the value of a and b is relative 
So what I'll do is I'll multiply X both sides, like uh, in the numerator as well as the denominator. It doesn't really make a difference over here. But once you plug in the values back into the first equation, you'll see a clearer, clearer solution out. So if A is equal to 5X, so I'm uh, going to change the 80% to 8, 80 by 100 and then putting it down to the most basic uh, to the most basic format that is 4 by 5 of a and again i'm going to cancel out a and put 5x over here plus uh, uh, this is equal to 13 plus 90 percent of b i'm going to change the 90 percent of b to 9 by 10 multiplied by b which is equal to 3x if here i'm able to find out the value of x then i will be able to achieve the absolute values of a and b okay so 4 by 5 of x this 5 gets cancelled 9 by 10 of uh, this does nothing gets cancelled i am here sitting at 4x is equal to 13 plus 27 by 10x i'm going to move it over here 40x 14 this is 13x by 10 is equal to 13 okay if i'm solving something a lot quicker than you think then trust me i have done it right away I haven't done the questions beforehand. Okay, so 13 gets cancelled by 13 and the value of x is equal to 10. If the value of a is 5x and the value of b is 3x, then the value of a is equal to 50 because the value of x is 10 and the value of b is 30 because the value of x is 10. 50 minus 30 is the question. What is the value of a minus b? And the answer is 20. Okay. This is one benefit of not having options there because you tend to jump onto the options before solving the questions completely. Uh, coming to the next example. Okay, this is a decent, decent, decent question. If uh, also, in the end, if you, I'll just read out the question for you first. If 30% of A's income is equal to 40% of Suresh's income, like Ravi's income and uh, Suresh's income, a ratio is given. Then the, what is 50% of Ravi's income in, in terms of Suresh's income, in terms of percentages, okay? I'll just quickly write it down. What I'm trying to talk about over here is 30% of Ravi. I'm going to denote Ravi with R is equal to 40% of Suresh's income. Then 50% of Ravi's income is equal to what percentage of Suresh's income? Then I'm going to cut off, like I'm going to strike, strike down uh, the percentages sign really quickly. The percentage is gotten off with percentages. The off doesn't have any significance. If I write off here and cancel it, doesn't matter. 30 is 30 R is equal to 40 S. Cutting out the zeros, then 3 R is equal to 4 S. The question being asked is 50% of R is equal to what percentage of S? First, I'm gonna find out the absolute. Try to find out the absolute value of R, which cannot be determined because we again have one equation and they are trying to ask us what is the value uh, they are trying to ask us the percentage and the percentage is a relative game when i talk about relative game is that the percentage being talked about over here is in relation to something else so we need not have a second equation to form the absolute value we are okay with playing with ratios in this question r is 4 by 3 of s i hope everybody can reach this point everybody has reached this point okay now I'll be moving to this point that then 50% of R's income is equal to what percentage of Suresh's income? I have 100% of R over here. You'd be confused. You'd be confused. How could I write 100% of R when there is nothing in the left of R? But my friend, there is one very strong symbol which is missing from here. That is one R. I'm not multiplying R with anything. R already has one in it. Okay. So 100% of R is equal to 4 by 3 of S. Is it understood a little bit? Now it says 50% of Ravi's income. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. So it says 50% of Ravi's income is equal to 4 by 3 times half of S. Two ones are this and two twos are 4. So 50% of Ravi's income is equal to what percentage of Suresh's income? 
in the beginning i told you if you have to convert a fraction convert a fraction to percentage we multiply by 100 okay so what i am doing here is 2 by 3 multiplied by 100 and the value comes out to be 66 2 by 3 percentage this is the answer that we are looking for did you see how I played with the equation? The first equation which came out over here, the first equation which, which came out over here, I transformed it to a second equation which we were looking for of 40% or 50% of B of, of Ravi salary. And then I found out what is the fraction that is uh, the coefficient of S. And when I talk about coefficient, when I talk about coefficient, I'll help you understand what coefficients are. When I talk about the coefficient of A, it is X. When I talk about the coefficient of B, it is Y. When I talk about the coefficient of X, it is A. When I talk about the coefficient of Y, it is B. Anything which is in the multiple of it, that is the coefficient, okay? And which cannot be multiplied completely. If I talk about multiplying 50% with R, I don't have any absolute value of R. That is why I am being happy. Okay, I have 50% attached to R. Had it been 50% multiplied by 20, the value would have come down to 10 okay so i hope this is pretty much clear of what i'm talking about the concept 2 is finished we'll be moving on to concept 3's video thank you